first of all i would like to you know uh, you know thank you asit for uh, accepting the invite and joining this space uh, and also thank you to everyone uh, else uh, who has uh, joined in uh, on saturday evening uh, so thank you thank you all so with that asit i would just like to start off by asking you uh, if you could maybe help you know us understand and for benefit of those who don't know you as much as uh, others uh, how, wh- where are you from originally and you know a wh- wh- little bit of your background your childhood and how did you uh, you know uh, how, what what education you did what was uh, your overall educational background and then how did you got introduced to the stock market um <coughs> okay so i belong to odisha uh, odisha katak uh, so hmm. till matlab uh, i think till graduation i was there then i came to delhi to do my mba and uh, post mba got into few kind of you no know, uh, forms where you do research based analysis and all those thing uske uh, baad hmm. i think uh, the major one that i got into was uh, i started working for uh, blackstone goldman sachs through a kpo firm and uh, that is how i think you know my uh, इंटेंसिव वर्क रिगार्डिंग माई कॉर्पोरेट कैरियर जहाँ पे फिनेंस में ज्यादा रोल डिफाइन था उस टाइम पे स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम देयर सो दिस इज दिस इज इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन आई वु आई वुड नॉट से इट वॉज वेरी सेटिस्फाइंग बट पोस्ट टू थाउजेंड सेवन इट वॉज ऑल फाइन एंड सो आई वर्क ऑन दिस कंपनीज देन आई ज्वाइन यू बी एस एंड Uh, UBS I was there for 7 8 years uh, till 2015 16 and uh, that's one of my best uh, kind of you no know, uh, period in terms of my corporate career if i may say uh, i mm-hmm. had the i had the option to join uh, UBS uh, New York uh, as a associate director uh, in IBD uh, but uh, somehow i think you know by that time uh, the trading ka booth uh, lag chuka tha and somehow <laughs> i did not want to go there because uh, the kind of lifestyle that we used to have that you know in morning 8 8:30 we used to reach office and by night 11 11:30 12 uh, on a conservative basis we used to get out so wo mm. 12 15 ghante ka kaam routine jo rehta tha that was very demotivating and it was stressful a lot mm. of work and uh, so basically i was into uh, m and a valuation uh, merger and acquisition valuation so i used to prepare this pitch book for bankers uh, so they go to kind of a pitch to their clients for deals and everything so we were hmm. a extended unit of uh, this uh, uh, ubs ibd and that is how okay. i used to work for uh, this company for 7 uh, 8 years uh, so hmm. so that is that is exactly what i was doing um, but point yahi tha ki Uh, i knew what kind of you no know, life that I, i was going to lead if i would have taken those offer and all so that was something that i did not want to do and uh, eventually mm-hmm. um, i quit ubs uh, in 2014 15 uh, just to do full time trading and us time pe main trading thoda thoda karna shuru kar chuka tha and i had a mm-hmm. decent uh, i would say moderate uh, success maybe uh, no, not nothing to do anything with my own skill set or whatever मार्केट एक स्विंग में था यू मेक सम प्रॉफिट यू मेक सम गेन्स एंड दैट इज हाउ यू थॉट यू आर डूइंग गुड सो वॉट हैपेंड द पैकेज दैट आई वॉज गेटिंग लेट्स ए मंथली पैकेज लेट्स ए आई स्टार्ट अर्निंग दैट फ्रॉम ट्रेडिंग इन फिफ्टीन डेज टाइम कैन ऑफ थिंग सो यू एक्स्ट्रा पोलेट क्योंकि फाइन ये हो रहा है तो लॉन्ग टर्म में ऐसा ही होगा एंड दैट इज वॉट आई वुड डू Uh, mm-hmm. and, and, and that's bit of inexperience you can say. That's a bit of immaturity. Uh, I did not know the rules of the game, and पांच छह महीना सात महीना का अच्छा profit हुआ, then you thought कि this is how it is going to be. Then why do I do mm-hmm. a job? I think that's one of the most uh, horrible decisions that I took uh, because I had everything in my corporate career, very good package, mm-hmm. and um, every all all the things that I wanted, I could have had it. But uh, mm-hmm. but only thing I did not want that कि इतना stress or press pressure में काम नहीं करना and uh, I do not want to have a life like that. So mm-hmm. I think uh, that that uh, that obsession towards you no know, freedom and you uh, know leading your life the way you want to lead. Uh, so those kind of things attracted me to trading. 
नॉट ट्रेडिंग एज सच की ट्रेडिंग में मुझे कुछ करना था ऐसा नहीं था बट आई थिंक वो पंद्रह सोलह घंटे का जो काम होता था उससे एसके प्रूट मुझे ट्रेडिंग में मिला एंड इनिशियल छह सात महीने काफी अच्छा था एंड इट हैज गॉट नथिंग टू डू विथ माई स्किल सेट इट इज जस्ट मार्केट वॉज इन स्विंग एंड आई जस्ट कैंड ऑफ नो वॉज इन द राइट साइड ऑफ द मार्केट सो दैट्स एक्जैक्टली वॉट है and uh, seven eight months down the line i think uh, and uh, let me tell you like you know this uh, investment banking uh, ibd units you know uh, mid end uh, you know they give very good package including the bonus and mm. everything uh, the bonus was mm. quite stunning um, whole people kind of know so uh, ib me investment banking me there are two units ek like equity research hota hai aur ek like ibd hota hai investment banking division so ibd me mm-hmm. because of the deal cracking and everything uh, you kind of know get lot of uh, benefit out of it so i had a mm. chunk of money i had a very good money uh, before i got into trading and uh, i mm. made some good money also maybe 30% 35% maybe in the span of 6 7 mm. months and um, mm. i thought ki see the issue is that ki matlab i think you uh, know what i did the biggest blunder is that i thought uh, whatever success that i had in my corporate career i could translate mm. that to my trading career and uh, mm. again mm. that's again a big one of my biggest immaturity you know uh, kind of no step that i that i had taken and um, hmm. what happened within matlab job choda job chhodne ke baad 6 7 mahina 3 4 mahina se ya 5 6 mahine tik tak chala everything was good and from then the slide started happening so in that slide uh, not only i lost all my uh, profit that i had made but also the capital and uh, hmm. i think i i think uh, i was too stubborn to ignorant uh, to under prepared Uh, to understand that um, i'm just not uh, there to kind of do the trading so mm-hmm. my capital was gone my profit was gone then um, i kind of you no know, took money of my parents you know, pension whatever pf and everything that is also gone and uh, yeah so that is how the whole sliding thing happened and i was kind mm-hmm. of you know, completely out of it matlab uh, uh, you are almost at you know mount everest ka top mein you had everything in your mm-hmm. corporate career and everything was fine set and uh, mm-hmm. you were thrown to the base and that's exactly what mm-hmm. happened in a span of maybe just 6 7 months kind of thing maybe 7 8 months kind of thing and i just mm-hmm. didn't have the uh, idea how exactly would i be able to kind of know uh, would i be able to manage the whole situation uh, mm-hmm. so that, right. that is exactly uh, Started. So yeah, yeah, so that is yeah. that is exactly what happened. So yeah, yeah. So I said before. So maybe we'll we'll uh, let me just come in here and bef- and then uh, you know before we go on to understand how you bounced back and you you know so basically what you're saying is up to this point of time that I think your uh, you know you wanted the financial freedom, you wanted the freedom to you know. trade and you know sort of get away from that routine uh, you know 9 to uh, mm-hmm. 11 pm kind of a hectic job uh, so that that made you go into full time trading and so tell me one thing when you started your trading you said initial 4 uh, 5 months were quite good 5 6 months were quite good so when you started your career uh, and during even during the time when you were actually doing a job what kind of a trading were you doing at that time was it more into equity or was it fno or within fno with, was it option buying selling i mean what what was what were you doing at that point in time no no <laughs> so at that point of time, i didn't even know ki option buying selling ke hota kya hai so it was just pure you know uh, equity or futures and that kind of thing i was not uh, into the That's game right. of options and i was also I had heard the stories of about Tata Dick and everything so option was not something that I was doing at that point of time so it was stocks uh, uh, futures uh, well, uh, stock futures index i was also not doing uh, stock futures and stock uh, kind of a cash me um, hmm. mid cap small cap whatever but wherever when there was a buzz and there some volume breakout and suddenly uh, position sizing was quite abrupt and uh, quite huge and uh, no. so i had hmm. all the recipe to have the disaster at the end and uh, yeah that is how it is mm mm okay 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 so so then then what happened uh, asit uh, how how did you sort of come back from how did you rise from that situation 
no so rise to bad me was i think you know first uh, i had to just uh, internalize what had happened to me in the span of last one year and mm-hmm. looking at 2014 uh, 14 yeah that, that is a year i would say mm-hmm. and uh, so so i left uh, i had left the job in ubs and um, didn't have money so basically i had to look for a job to pay off my emi so the immediate target was to get a job so i mm-hmm. got into bank of america uh in the matlab uh, you know delhi so that that is where i that is why i came to delhi gurgaon because in such of a job mm-hmm. and uh, i think uh, the initial 2 3 months i just survived so that you know survived in the sense ki uh, the utter uh, um, in a very bad way let's put it in this way ki i didn't have money and uh, salary aane mein time lagta hai ek aap aake join kar liye but obviously salary aapko ek mahine baad milega i used mm-hmm. to stay with me one of me closest friend uske ghar mein i used to stay so uh, did whatever that i could so that you know i just managed to survive and pay off the you know emis uh, credit card bills or whatever xyz that was there mm-hmm. pending bills and everything and that was the phase where uh, but but at the same time uh, i do not know how but uh, he, th- this is the turning point i just knew that you know uh, if at all i had a chance to uh, get back to life uh it has to be through trading so that mm. uh, that that uh, gut feel or that intuition was very much there and i knew mm. ki the colossal uh, uh, kind of a loss and everything that has happened whatever capital that i have lost is not going to be coming out of from a bank of america job where again the life was very comfortable package was very good but um, you had uh, kind of you no know, you can you, you can say ki i had seen something much much bigger than what a corporate career can give me Mm-hmm. um i can i can very well say ki uh, the package was very good um i and and worst i didn't have to work that much matlab you know, the way i used to work in ubs mm-hmm. back then it was a very pretty okay job matlab not, nothing to be slogging around for 15 16 hours but 8 10 hours it's more than fine so mm-hmm. the standard was pretty low i would say in terms of mm-hmm. the demanding nature of the job but mm-hmm. uh, but again the the losses and everything i could not have it would have taken me at least 10 years to kind of you know, get back to life if i would have continued the corporate so mm-hmm. this time uh, i think you know uh, yeah, there is nothing to kind of you know, lose for me at that point of time mm. and mm. Uh, i just i just knew ki i somehow have to get back to kind of you no know, trading but us time capital tha nahi so obviously one of the reasons that you kind of know i joined bank am also not to not only to pay the emi but i can take mm. a personal loan mm-hmm. and uh, mm. that is that is exactly the mindset okay fine i'll take a 30 40 lakhs ka personal loan which is easy to get at that point of time and mm-hmm. uh, you'll you'll restart the engine again just to see what exactly is happening and everything but mm. during this phase of you know i would say just settling down i kind of uh, prepared myself a little better than what i was there earlier i was too mm. raw too uh, under prepared but this time i was little prepared i would say not extremely that great but i was doing kind of no better in terms of understanding the nuances ki what i should do what i should not do mm. and uh, i did the job for a couple of years and by but at the same time uh, as luck would have it uh, my my i used to go to office by around uh, 11:30 and mm. i used to come back by kind of you know, maybe 7:38 so i had a mm-hmm. lot of time mm. and uh, mm. being in the kind of you know, higher position in terms of the hierarchy i did not have to be on the seat every here and there so basically yeah. i used to have my laptop uh, go down by 2:30 to 3:30 i used to trade uh, come back after trading morning hour me 9:15 to 10:30 11 i used to trade and then i come to office and things like that so mm-hmm. that one year that that period of you know kind of you no know, uh, retesting your caliber or rather retesting whether you still uh, kind of you no know, can do it kind of thing that mm-hmm. helped me a lot that helped mm-hmm. me a lot because uh, this time uh, the 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 arrogance was not there that uh, ignorance was not there Mm-hmm. Um, and and the pride was gone uh, mm-hmm. and the pride was not from trading obviously the pride was from the corporate you know uh, thing whatever that was there mm-hmm. so basically you were just uh, struggling you, you were just like you know i used to consider myself uh, like a daily laborer uh, go to mm-hmm. kind of you no know, market uh, make some money come out and step by step you I, it was not money it was just kind of you no know, trying to 
answer your concerns that you know mm-hmm. you're just doing fine but like you're just working yes. fine and trying to get back to you know get, get your way. basically get your confidence back at least Uh, more than confidence i would say self esteem uh, my mm-hmm. self esteem was gone because obviously uh, i managed to lose everything that i had mm-hmm. and um, it is not easy to be very honest uh, confidence to matlab theek hai confidence back karne ke liye confidence hona chahiye but mm-hmm. main usse do teen step niche tha my self esteem was gone and trust mm-hmm. me it was very bad yeah uh, it was it was absolutely terrible and mm. uh, but at the same time i think you know uh, over a period of one year one but maybe 12 15 months slowly steadily things were kind of you no know, fine and uh, and that is when again i decided to okay i'll leave bankam and i'll be a full time trader mm. i think this mm. is around 2015 maybe and that mm. is from from then yeah i have not looked back and uh, yeah things things have been fine god's yeah, grace yeah. no no absolutely that we all know i mean of course the rest is history as they say so so tell me one thing now uh, asit uh, was there any difference in the style of uh, i mean whatever you were trading was there any difference between your earlier the first innings and the second bank bank of america innings so if 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 maybe uh, if i could ask on behalf of the listeners uh, when you said psychology wise uh, you know what changes did you do in yourself like uh, in thought process or in risk management i mean was there any conscious calls you took in terms of how, to avoid the second uh, the uh, same kind of a uh, you know uh, problems that you faced earlier did you do anything consciously sort of different uh see this time uh, yeah matlab <laughs> i i think you know i'm getting all the you know when i'm talking about it i'm thinking all the time i i i kind of you know over a period of time you kind of you know some of the memories you kind of you know just lock it in a box and don't think about it but uh, i'm i'm thinking about it anyway so so this time there was no second choice for me you know, no second chance for me so mm-hmm. either you survive and you know be alive or you ju- you're just going to be dead it's as simple as that and uh, there yeah. is a up- uphill task of you know death the losses and everything but i think uh, more than anything uh, i just knew i'll have it i i did not know how i but mm. at, at the same time i knew ki see i think you know there are times in 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 everyone's life uh, more than forget about trading and everything but we we go through the tunnels when we just know ki boss matlab this is the thing matlab abhi if you mm. do not wake up and do the things the way they ought to be done mm. you would never have it back so mm. i think this time the trading was much more methodical uh, much more research based much more uh, uh, kind of you no know, i knew what i was doing uh, mm. there is no room for complacency even if i was mm. making money i was still scared Uh, even if mm. i was uh, losing money i would be maybe five six times more kind of conservative towards protecting the capital because i knew if this capital is gone i'm done there is nothing mm. else mm. that i could do so mm. so there was no second uh, chance for me and that actually built up my uh, mental muscle if i may say mm. and th- mm. uh, that was that was the turning point where you know uh, every day uh, i used to Uh, kind of you no know, really uh, do a lot of introspection ki what has happened and how do i get it back and hmm. uh, those things do help a lot of self talking a uh, so lot of you know kind of you no know, understanding ki what you are doing and how exactly things can be mended uh, so those those things did help me and uh, hmm. i think uh, i do not know matlab like, how exactly how, whatever but uh, yeah over a period of time slowly steadily you know i just got back to my feet and uh, yeah then the yeah. things so, started working right so so tell me a thing even during this time now that you said you got your feet back on the ground and you started feeling more confidence and you left your job for the second time so even at this point in time were you still doing primarily stock futures and equity or even by that time you had already started doing options Mm, bit of options, uh, no stocks, no equity cash. Uh, mm. Basically, futures and a bit of options. Uh, there is a funny story. I think I have never, I love, uh, told it in any public forum, but I would like to say this uh, because it gave. It might be a bit of you know, uh, kind of you no know, bit of uh, what do I say it? Uh, it shows what I was going through. so mm-hmm. basically uh, what happened in bank and there are few guys uh, and everybody matlab 
see officially we are not allowed to trade no. uh like you know we we are not supposed to be doing any trading uh, that's yes. period yeah, right yes. but there is always alternative alternative is what ki you do not trade in your pan you mm-hmm. can trade in somebody else's you know this thing and things like that Mm-hmm. and uh, what happened ki so few of the guys that i so they knew ki something has happened and everything and because i was kind of you no know, um, the apple in the eyes of you no know, these guys in management and everything they were like you no know, very happy with whatever that i was doing so i mm-hmm. and i had the time so basically mm-hmm. these guys also wanted to invest or not invest kind of you no know, trade so we made a pooled account and mm-hmm. uh, and we started making even bigger money because of the fact ki the broker gave us some delivery based you know leverage so let's say if i put 2 cr the broker will also put say 2 cr so the account yeah. becomes 4 cr so yeah. then the return actually accentuated in a manner ki it was becoming much better yeah. and uh, everybody around me were happy ki okay fine and in fact uh, they would be more than happy to kind of you know, do the job that i was supposed to do you हाँ. don't have to worry so you know hota hai so chai break mein aap matlab i i was like you know ki fine boss ye to hamara life mein you know bhagwan ban ke aa gaya to chalo ye hame abhi udhar karega types so there there happened to be a very good friend of mine i would not obviously name but uh, so this guy was not part of the pool and um, he said ki okay fine i know what you guys doing which is obviously not right even mm. if it doesn't compromise your work aspect and you sit back and finish everything what is supposed to be done but this is not mm. right mm. and uh, if you do not give me a share of your profit then i'll kind of no do the whistle blowing oh. so so uh, i thought he was just joking i said ki come on yeah matlab i told ki see i cannot be unfair to the rest of the guys if you can uh, put contribute to the capital then we'll see matlab the whatever sharing that is there it is there Yeah, and yeah. Uh, he said, "You know, I will not put any money, but at the same same time, I need the equal sharing, which was obviously stuff. not um, not really. But I I did not take him seriously, mm-hmm. and uh, eventually he actually went to the management and said, 'Okay, this is what is happening and things like that.' Oh. And uh, management was also kind of 'Okay, okay, fine.' Now. And again, I knew for sure that management is also trading because I got mm. a couple of guys. T- so everybody is like in the know that yeah, this happens, but officially nobody will." acknowledge ki this is what is going on types hmm. um so uh, so i guess uh, yeah so they asked me ki do you do this um, hmm. maybe i should have said no and they would have they would not be able to do anything for me because hmm. they do not have the call records or let's say matlab mera number se nahi jata tha broker ka call ya mere fans se nahi tha so there is no way they could have tracked the complaints right. could not have tracked Uh, but uh, i do not know matlab is the you know uh, slave of uh, bringing but i i hate to lie i told mm. him that uh, yes i do trade and uh, but at the same time it is not at the cost of the job or responsibility that i have mm-hmm. and uh, things like that so they said ki and then, the, the, then there was a phase when um, i was put down uh, taken down from the management position they gave me kind of a solo job which is still okay mm. but they kind of you know put such situations that you know you tell me who are the other guys who are kind of involved and things like that and then mm. we are okay i did not mm. say that and uh, i was asked to leave so bank and mm. i i left they said ki okay fine you have to give me in writing that you know you're not going to do the trading ever again and we are okay mm. i, I mm. know once you're saying that it will be fine and mm. i do not know where i i was still not absolutely perfect by that time and uh, I, i don't mean to say i'm perfect now but mm. not the same kind of you no know, uh, caliber i would say mm-hmm. and i i remember telling my vp saying ki uh, i can leave the corporate but i'll never leave trading come mm-hmm. on me if you do not want mm-hmm. to have me i can resign and then walk out but i'll never leave trading and mm-hmm. um, i was actually uh, impressed with my own audacity because mm-hmm. i was not i can say that thing right now i have capital i have money so i i don't care but at that mm-hmm. time i was not perfect i was not doing that great Mm. but to have that confidence ki i can make it going mm. i i somehow feel uh, very uh, yes it is a gray area ethically mm. i was wrong there is no doubt about it but mm. it's is the that ki if i had my way i would have written that ki i'll not do trading and go back to trading and the guys would not know anything yeah. but um, i i i take pride in the fact ki uh, i i was honest as always in my life uh, in, yeah. even in that situation and it that's a, that came out to be a blessing in this guys i left bank and 
uh, with all uh, amicable notes uh, but obviously i know why i was leaving mm. but uh, i'm i'm happy that you know the decision actually went uh, in a big way for my own you know personal trading life yeah so, i think yeah. what happened is you basically i think you had known by that time that trading is your passion your calling of life right so i think that's what made you decide to stick with trading because yes matlab honestly um, see honestly once you make money in trading um, with due respect to everyone matlab whichever mm-hmm. strategy whatever kind of trading people do mm-hmm. you know for sure ki yahan pe to paisa banta hai this mm-hmm. is where the you know real money can be made Mm. it's just that ki um, you need to have the proof uh, you know self uh, validation you can say mm-hmm. and and once that validation started coming for a year or two then i knew ki okay fine i can still kind of you know pick it up and nothing to be you know uh, nothing to be worried about but at the same mm. time i was still very fragile i was not mm. that solid but at mm-hmm. the same time i just knew how to walk around and i do not have to fall back to the trap that i was going down earlier Hmm. and so this this time i was much better prepared than the first time when i was not having the job hmm. so hmm. that is exactly that is exactly uh, how it kind of you know uh, went hmm. about well well so this is uh, i think thanks asit for uh, you know telling us this thing because it really you know uh, is a very inspirational story and uh, and i think you know i think uh, i think somehow you knew in the heart of your heart that i think this is what i want to do for the rest of my life right yeah yeah and that was there uh, and again matlab anyway even if that incident would not have happened uh, i would have still left uh, bank in a year or so it yeah, was just yeah. that i was not mentally prepared to leave at that point of time mm. but uh, having said that i think um, it is how it was meant to be yeah and yeah. Uh, the vp is very good friend of mine we keep talking every now and then and we laugh about it what happened but at the same time at that point of time yes it was little uh, too much to kind of take it up yeah. but uh, yeah matlab the point is keep uh, if you honestly matlab you know i somehow think well and that is exactly the kind of you no know, personality the core personality how exactly would help you in case you know you follow it mujhe aisa lagta hai ki there should not be any cheating matlab aap koi bhi trading kar rahe ho koi bhi whatever that you do wo jo bolte na 100% dedication no pollution matlab in terms of you absolutely clarity of what you're doing yeah, and yeah. Uh, you just know ki you are going to put 100% of your effort Yeah. then then the outcome is not going to matter because you know ki you know deep inside there is a fellow who will stand up for you and say ki mm. boss you have done good thing don't worry just keep doing yeah. even if the result is not coming right now it will come eventually and that is yeah. what was coming at that point of time so that special guy from me inside it uh, stood up for me and said ki nahi yaar it's okay don't worry it's okay ho gaya ho gaya let's let's just go on so i think that yeah. clarity of thought uh, that uh, that honesty with yourself the honesty with whatever that you're doing does matter mm. a lot uh, eventually so mm. yeah well uh, that is what it is nee nee absolutely yaar i mean truly inspirational uh, so so uh, tell me one thing as it so you you then started doing full time trading and uh, you know you you told us your entire journey so far but then now uh, oh, as you in the last now few years uh, obviously you have also become an entrepreneur you have started your own uh, you know outfit right called rank delta so uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, that in terms of and we don't want to know the 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 details behind rank delta but what is the concept of rank delta and broad concept of rank delta and what is what is it that you sort of offer to your clients or your customers um see honestly no i don't think i have become an entrepreneur as such uh, there are a lot of people who are doing great stuff and i'm quite inspired uh, rather you know it is quite nice to it's really nice to see them growing i i don't think uh, i have that uh, big deal of you know entrepreneurship as such um, it, it mm-hmm. is just uh, to set up an llp and you know to trade in that uh, llp's name to save taxes or something like that and um, okay. yeah to to, to be told so, yeah maybe, sorry maybe i'll interrupt uh, what i meant to ask uh, ask is i mean not entrepreneur in, in that sense what i meant is like you you basically sort of created your own product 
right the rank delta and so i i wanted to know that ki the product that you have what was your thought process behind you know conceptualizing that product and uh, what made you sort of you know if you could just give us a little idea of what that product is okay so no there is, as of now honestly there is no product but you know what actually had happened so when i was working for ubs i used to be in fig uh, financial institution group so one of the bankers mm-hmm. that i used to kind of you know work with uh, he had developed uh, one of the uh, excel based model uh, there are a lot of models financial valuation and models that we used to work with um, gotcha. uh, on on fundamental valuation of the banks and he used to give uh, different ranks to uh, fundamental uh, valuation in terms of you know, capital mm-hmm. adequacy tier 1 capital tier 2 capital for kitna what is the gap and things like that Uh, mm-hmm. so 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 uh, he, he had an entire great model is an israeli and uh, it did great stuff um mm-hmm. so so we used to kind of you know have it the rank model karke we used to have that file and uh, over a period of time when i started you know trading matlab because i had free time and i was kind of you know um, the whole mind focus and everything was on ki how do i improve myself uh, so that is where this thing came ki what if i kind of you know uh, quantify all the indicators and trying to find out and scan everything at one real go what i found uh, mm-hmm. initially matlab maybe i was not good at it or maybe i found it boring or whatever you can say it. i somehow I, i was i have never been great at uh, charts and all i i i'm more mm-hmm. of a data person because of you know, my background so i mm-hmm. wanted to quantify everything or you know put it in a manner where you know just one glance will tell me ki how exactly good or bad it is at that point mm. of time so mm. few of this stuff you know so basically i developed this ranking in one of the software in fox trader that i've been still using right now um, i mm. had a lot of uh, offers from different uh, you know companies or what of ki you develop the platform in a, it's just that you know lack of time or maybe i just didn't want to kind of you know make it that uh, big or something it was just focusing on the trading aspect but mm. is basically you rank the companies uh, rather fno scripts in different time frames based upon different indicators trend momentum volume volatility whatever and trying to come Got up it. with a, this thing so so that is, and mm. and since i was you know doing options and i'm more of a delta chaser and delta drifting uh, methodology kind of thing and uh, ranking is anyway there so that is how the rank delta name came up okay okay i'll just put it up but on to mm. be told um, i have not been thinking anything that grand or whatever i'm just more for i i maybe maybe i'm wrong but at the same time i think ki these are all uh, distractions if i if i become mm. uh, kind of you no know, business oriented um mm. that itself is little uh, a time consuming b uh, the focus would be uh, definitely melted a bit um, one of the reasons mm. why matlab i used to do webinars last year i completely stopped it for last 6 7 8 years 6 7 8 months maybe somehow i felt ki mm. i might not be able to give 100% to the people who are coming signing up for the webinar and um, each webinar there were at least 100 120 people were there so uh, not only i liked the fact that i was interacting with a lot of traders and that was good fun but uh, hmm. again it was distraction so maybe i'll not hmm. ever go that big uh, until unless i have a lot of bandwidth uh, because trading mm-hmm. becomes your passion kind of thing and that is what you want to focus on so yeah that is what yeah, it is yeah 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 no no absolutely i i get it great fantastic so maybe i'll do one thing i'll ask one more question asit and then we will open it up for the audience round i just before we sort of go to the q and a session then what based on your life journey and which is you know inspirational as it is uh, you know what kind of a few words of advice you would want to give to traders who are you know upcoming who are struggling or who are yet to make a mark for themselves so what is the advice that you would like to give them based on your experiences i think yeah so in my limited whatever that i have gone through experience and all i would say if somebody is already having a job uh, do not quit the job till the time you have not seen at least you know um 6 7 quarters and you are positive for continuously 4 5 quarters or 5 6 quarters maybe uh, do not quit a job it, it is it is easier said that done ki paisa aaram se mil jata is not like that because when we see and that is exactly what happened with me i saw a limited uh, scope of you know operation 
at uh, that point of time when I was making money in UBS and I suddenly started extrapolating that what I was earning in a month or 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 a month why do I need to do a job this is a mm. very myopic view no doubt on that mm. but uh, that's the immaturity also so first thing first if you have a job uh, do not quit it uh, you can always do bit of you know, swing trading swing investment whatever but uh, mm. you got to taste the water uh, keep Okay, fine. If, let's say hypothetically, I need uh, 3 lakhs rupees in a month. You at least mm. need to have some buffer. Uh, even if you do not make money in some month, uh, still it is okay. You would be absolutely be fine with your buffer and money. Uh, but at the same mm. time, um, people who are at, at the same time, people who are planning to quit a job, just have a PNL uh, in front of you ki if you're profitable for the five six quarters kind of thing and and mm. um, if I may also say matlab, you know I know uh, this uh, workshop webinar have a huge you know bad name in terms of the Twitter world but I can tell you ki, uh, in my time when I was you know trying to learn from each and everyone doesn't really matter whether I like the person or like the person's you know teaching or whatever I would still go and visit everyone around just to learn something because I knew for by that time ki it is just not correct or right to me burn my own money and then learn rather than somebody who is already successful doing little descent let me just see and some words some spark some sentence will change the thinking the way I was thinking so mm. uh, my my point is ki, I'm not I'm not saying that you go workshop or seminar kije, but at the same time try to listen to all the people. Matlab, I think Vivek Bajaj is doing a great thing. Matlab, you know bringing all the traders to forefront and everybody is li- kind of kind of listening to them. I think absorb mm. as much as you can from different uh, school of thoughts, from different no option selling, no option buying, no renko chart, no PNF chart, nahi, whatever that can come to you, and try to mm. discover the DNA that you're built of. I think I think it's mm-hmm. very very important to understand ki what kind of trading DNA that you have built up. We need to discover that mm-hmm. before you start thinking mm-hmm. even making money. Most of us, most yeah. of the time, do not uh, focus and concentrate on that. We just want quick yeah. money, and that quick money ke chakkar mein capital bhi jata hai. It has happened with me. The capital is gone, yeah. uh, self esteem is gone, morale is gone, and you are almost like no semi suicidal kind of thing. It's not worth it. Matlab, there is no point. Uh, everybody has to go through the pain. Tunnel of you no know, darkness, you know, completely hopelessness, not required. So, mm. uh, learn from somebody else's experience, what they're doing, and whatever things that is happening, and then then find yeah. your core DNA, ki, what kind of stuff that you're made up, and what exactly you want to do. What is the risk parameter? What is the expectations? We we all have unrealistic expectations, and certainly, and mm. and, and the greed factor is there. You know, obviously. Even I am guilty to it at one point of time. People putting the M2M screenshot, it does influence you positively, negatively in whichever manner. Okay, okay, it is doable. Yes, it is doable. Mm. Uh, let me, um, in, in both ways, so let me tell you with a lot of audacity, the market can give you a shitload of money. There is no doubt on that. You know, every day mm. you can make great amount of money. Uh, but for making that mm. kind of you know, money or whatever, uh, you need to be really skillful because... As you know, like no, we are not uh, here to fight with one guy. Maybe there are hundred guys against me. So to to yes. to take money from the table to your account, it's definitely going to be challenging. But at the same time, if you're skilled enough, there is there is huge amount of money in the market. There is no doubt on that. If we are not making money, it is basically because I'm not good enough. Market is never mm. bad. I, I am not good enough. The moment we self realize this fact. Ki there yeah. is some flaw in myself, my way of not looking at the market, my way of not dissecting the market, and that is why I'm not mm. able to make money. Once that realization yeah. is there, we will improve. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I think people who are struggling do not ever blame the market. It is always you who had the mistake. If I have lost money, exactly. lost my capital, it is because of my own underpreparedness, lack of knowledge, lack of risk management that brought me down. Uh, so if I start thinking that I have to pay money, I will pay money, I will say bullshit. Well, you, you, mm. you, you can be in that mindset forever, but uh, nothing will happen in the mm. life. So, so, got it. Yeah. Well, uh, so, yeah stop, right. stop, so stop, basically stop blaming the market and take responsibility of your actions. Yes, absolutely. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic, fantastic. Very, 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 very valid advice, valuable advice, uh, Asit. Great. So, Asit, I'll do one thing. I'll uh, uh, start, uh, you know, opening the questions uh, uh, for the audience. I, I have just uh-huh. one request to everyone who is asking question. Just keep your question very brief uh, to the point 
and uh, you know uh, uh, if someone has already asked that question uh, try and as far as possible don't repeat it okay so uh, with that i'll uh, just uh, let uh, the first two speakers mr batachari batachari do you want to go hello uh mr mr batachari yes yes or yeah go ahead ask your question uh thank you for uh, actually i wanted to ask something regarding this rank ranking system must it have developed mm. uh actually can i explain what is it i have seen a lot of screen behind asset screen uh, profile picture but i don't understand what is it exactly is doing uh okay see so basically uh, this is my way of you know kind of you know, being uh, away from the charts uh, that is number one i i just said i was more looking to data kind of thing so basically hypothetically if i may say i'm just trying to dissect each and every indicator in each of the time frame and trying to derive some amount of conviction out of it uh this is built with a lot of uh, calculation or let's say each of the something like let's put it in this way i would uh, change my rsi to say 9 5 if the if the stock is very uh, high beta counter something like bajaj finance something like let's say icic bank all the kind of you know, financial stocks which are, which are very high beta my my score for uh, my my uh, Uh, what to say the default setting for less of most of the indicators will change if i go for a fmcg i cannot uh, have the same kind of you no know, let's say ema is the way i have it in let's say in financials so for less of a, if i hypothetically say a 13 ema might work uh, better in uh, britannia then a 17 ema might work better in asian pens so can i check that ki which are better so it's kind of you no know, trying to find out But by having said that, ki uh, a as all of us know, ki nothing is have is a holy grail or whatever. It has given me losses as well. But at the same time, it it's kind of you no know, managed to give me the conviction that I always look for, and that is what exactly it is. And try to kind of you no know, understand uh, how exactly the same weightage can be given to different time frames and how the time frames are reacting to the uh, kind of you no know, the different indicators. So that is what I kind of you no know, study in the ranking. Hmm. Got it. Got it. Uh, Sumit, you want to ask the next question? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good evening. So I wanted to ask, like, uh, while you trade, what are the key indicators which you focus on? Uh, uh, basically, nowadays, since last uh, one and a half years, I only trade uh, index, and I don't trade stocks. So basically. if i look at uh, my instrument index so that is bank nifty nifty apart from the indicators which is which is can be misleading i do lot of you know data digging in option chain i do lot of you know uh, try to understand what is the kind of you know, vol skew that is getting developed in each of the banks so when i'm let's say when i'm saying ki i'm trading in bank nifty basically i'm trading in five private banks so i need to know what kind of you know uh, support resistance what are the pivot weekly daily monthly whatever that is kind of you no know, working out for these banks kahan pe mean reversion aa sakta hai which banks can take a mean reversion what kind of weightage these banks will have in terms of you know a, 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 hypothetically 1% fall in hdfc bank 2% fall in icic bank how much it will drag to uh, drag bank nifty down so if i can predict ki how much hdfc is going down let's say based upon vol skew i would not say predict that's a wrong word but uh, let's say have some kind of an analysis which will tell me ki, okay hdfc bank would go down by this much or icic bank will go up by this much i will have a better sense what could happen in bank nifty and uh, so basically study so indicator would be a wrong thing to say to be honest because uh, you cannot tame bank nifty or nifty with just few indicators but this is exactly what i do option chain reading uh, trying to understand vol skew try to understand pcr and whatever the things that are there and along with the, uh, that yes i do look into let's say rsi msd adx um, 821 crossover uh, these are the few things that i look at but in the ranking model i have quite a few other kind of you know, indicators but not that it is required ki you have to have uh, all the all indicators to be profitable, profitable. 
Hi, Asit. Uh, it was. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, I'm Ahmed here. Uh, I've been actually following his. Uh, so, hold on, hold on. Some, somebody, somebody is speaking the phone on speaker. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a a is it uh, is it clear now? Yeah, yeah good. So I've been following. Actually, you are doing great job, and especially for the community, and uh, also you know uh, your story is quite inspiring. And I think most of the people in trading community can relate it to. And so I would I would like to ask without wasting much of time. I would like to ask uh, one thing. Uh, do you any time use the charts as such without any indicator or uh, you know any other help just naked charting and you know what is your view on that did you ever try it and uh, what is your take on this do you think it is successful useful because uh, you know uh, there are a lot of indicators and all but uh, you know as we all know the price section as they say you know and i'm calling it from personal experience so it works across segments be it fno commodities and what not so i just want to know your experience have you ever tried and what is your experience thanks uh, see uh, to uh, i think i can still hear the echo now it's no, better it's, it's, yeah. so yeah so um, i want first thing first i i was telling sometime back yeah, i'm not a good uh, i'm not good chart reader it, it takes bit of you know special skill or you know patience or whatever i think i don't have that so i have never seen any chart without any indicators so not that it is right please don't take it in that way but i am flawed to not see that in that manner ki just naked chart and trying to derive something out of it so ye matlab maybe because of my lackness i take help of the indicators but not necessarily you have to take help of indicators that is number one but indicators are just one part of the story trust me uh, more than that uh, let me just you know take more couple of more minutes to explain what i'm trying to say see when you look into chart you're trying to derive a view right matlab okay this is bullish or bearish or sideways or whatever so a price action guy keep telling it to different you know occasions so a price action guy uh can identify okay fine there is a reversal happening from let's say 500 rupees it will go to 5 uh, say 600 rupees and uh, doesn't need any indicator doesn't need anything and is absolutely correct with the this thing price action me ki 500 rupees se ye 600 pe ja raha hai um as an indicator guy i might be entering at 520 525 and i'm happy to enter late but at the same time um, i by the time i enter my conviction level is definitely i would say ki uh, descent and as and when if i if i know ki it is going for around 525 to 575 i don't even need from 500 to 600 i just need 50 points i, I will have my game i will definitely kind of you not know, take care of my position sizing volume uh, to kind of you no know, uh, take care of whatever cream that is there so i i as a trader i never envisage myself to uh, take out the whole cream i am not even interested Uh, i don't need 100 points i just need 60 70 points and i'm more than happy so the lagging impact of the indicator if you at all talking about that and everything is there it is there for sure but at the same time um, the benefit that i get ki at one point of time i can get to trade maybe 10 stocks without even looking at charts so there is one thing to have a view and uh, trust me the real game changes when you have that view and how you exactly you pyramiding the position sizing um trading is not about finding support resistance candle reversals kind of candle that is getting formed if you if you want to make money i'm tra- i'm talking about uh, not money in one lot if i know uh, i i'm not sure ki how many of you would have uh, seen hdfc is correcting and hdfc is going down and how many lots you would have taken uh, hdfc bank ka put maybe i had hdfc ka lot from 2800 to almost 2400 and i i had insane amount of quantity in that uh, trade um, so so my point i'm i'm not justifying ki have volume bada hai position sizing nahi bada to profit nahi hoga and all, all that thing but um, the market gives you money for the conviction market gives you money for the premium that you're going to take out because of the fact ki you know certain things are uh, going to happen now always it cannot happen like that ki every time you're right and it's, it's not meant to be like that but at the same time even if i go wrong in 3 4 trades and i know ki teen char trade mein jo main galat ja raha hu wahan pe mera let's say 100 mein se premium has come to 60 rupees 
चालीस रुपए का लॉस ले सा हाइपोथेटिकली बट जब मैं सही जा रहा हूँ दैट हंड्रेड रुपीज प्रीमियम आई इंश्योर की इट इज गिविंग मी एटलीस्ट फाइव टाइम्स रिटर्न सो दैट इज द गेम दैट आई ट्राई टू प्ले सो चार्ट कमिंग बैक टू क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली नॉट नेकेट चार्ट आई डोंट I am I am flawed in that manner, so I don't even try to improve myself in that way. But I substitute that flaw with the fact uh, my strength is from data, um, options, wall skew, whatever options related data. I think that is I have a decent holding, so I try to kind of you no know, uh, compensate my uh, flaws in that manner. Great, great. Kalai, you want to ask the question? Uh, uh, sir, I would go uh, want to go ahead and ask some question if it is possible right now. Sorry, who's this? Uh, sir, Sabhya Sachi, sir. No, just wait, wait. Let let Kalai ask the question. Kalai, are you there? Yeah, I said, yeah. sir. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you. Uh, thing is, I do scalping, bank bank right. Nifty scalping, and uh-huh. uh, your system will help in uh, intraday scalping. I don't do much of scalping. I don't know which system that you're referring to. Um, let me tell you, like you know, I've done scalping uh, a million times, and I know what you know what exactly how good it is, how bad it is. And consciously, I I decided not to do scalping ever since last maybe two years back. So so something. Uh, so my system is not meant for scalping, but at the same time, yes, it will. I do not know which which system you are talking about. I have multiple systems that I kind of not trade with, but at the same time, I try not to do too much of scalping in bank Nifty because uh, let me tell you something. Uh, the size of your candle will decide the kind of wealth that you are making. Uh, if your candle size is three minutes, two minutes, one minute, uh, you will not be making wealth. Uh, the higher the candle size, trust me, you will make much better money on that. Uh, ba- having said that, bank Nifty is such a beast that you know uh, whatever that is looking good in one hour uh, might look terrible in five minutes time. So that is there, but at the same time, try to increase the uh, size of the candle, and that is where you will make money, uh, maximum money in the stock market. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Sabhya Sach. Sabhya Sach, go ahead. Uh, Asit Bhai, uh, Sabhya Sachi here. I uh, just wanted to uh, any uh, uh, sir any any listener out here I, I would like just to tell at the outset his system is absolutely fantastic uh, my only question ashit bhai is uh, as we gradually try to scale up the only problem that we uh, that uh, particularly my problem is uh, you know position si- uh, sizing how we de- how do we prepare for it uh, psychologically jaise apna position size badhana hai तो हम उसको साइकोलॉजिकली कैसे हैंडल करें या प्रिपेयर करें दैट इज माय ओनली क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ ओके सो सी देयर टू थिंग्स इफ आई मे कैन ऑफ नो एलेबोरेट अ बिट अलो मी कपल ऑफ मिनट्स टू टॉक अबाउट इट सी दिस पोजीशन साइजिंग सो राइट नाउ ऑन ए मतलब इफ इफ देयर इज अ गुड ट्रेंड मोमेंटम आई आई कैरी ऑन ट्रेड मे बी 3 4 लाख बैंक निफ्टी ऑप्शंस एंड मे बी टू लाख फाइव लाख के रेंज में निफ्टी का ऑप्शन काइंड ऑफ थिंग नॉट फ्यूचर अबाउट ऑप्शन इन डिफरेंट टाइप प्राइस नाउ इफ आई इफ आई टेल यू की इट इज नॉट दैट की इन वन डे वन मंथ वन ईयर दिस काइंड ऑफ पोजिशन साइजिंग आई एम एबल टू हैंडल इट्स ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ मे बी लास्ट फोर ईयर्स मतलब ऑलियर इट यूज टू बी थाउजेंड क्वान्टिटी थाउजेंड वन टू फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड एंड टू टेन थाउजेंड एंड सो एंड सो फॉर नाउ वन ऑफ द रीजन यू कैन ओनली इंक्रीज पोजिशन साइजिंग यूर प्रॉफिटेबल if you are not profitable if there is not much of buffer at your back you would actually be scared to take that much of quantity and that is, uh, trust me position sizing is directly related to what kind of no uh, profitability you are setting at so so my point is that ki uh, hypothetically uh, if i may kind of no elaborate a bit as a trader if you want to kind of no uh, if you want to kind of no make superlative return you first have to ensure uh, you are getting to that phase where your capital is not going to get encroached any point of time even if the worst of black zone is happening that black zone is only going to take away your profit not the capital so you are there to survive the next day next month next year whatever so hypothetically if you are starting at let's say 1 lakh or not let's say 1 lakh name let's say 10 lakh rupees now over a period of let's say 1 year 2 year this 10 lakh has become maybe let's say 70 80 lakhs 
right now you made 10 times return or maybe let's say it has become one cent so you have made 10 times return of your profit of of your capital of 10 lakh now your position sizing is going to be decided in that manner any day any point of time uh, first thing first my previous days profit would be taken out previous weeks profit will be taken out previous two weeks profit will be taken out and that is my risk my risk should not ever be my capital once you get into that frame of mind the game changes completely the day i'm at loss the next day i am very conservative how do i kind of not because if i'm lost today my previous day's profit is gone so i do not want to encroach upon the two days back a profit agar hua ho to so point is ki i'm so the kind of trading why agar bank nifty 1000 point bhi goes against me Uh, i lose money but that money that i'm going to lose is going to be from my profit and that puts me in a much better comfort zone so then when i kind of you no know, smell blood i go after it and there is no denial about the fact i go really aggressive when i see blood um, yesterday's fall what we had in uh, uh, nifty bank nifty obviously nobody knew ki dow will fall like this or whatever but uh, the one day before when around 1 o'clock when bank nifty nifty bull both kind of a crack from the top um, there is lot of uh, signs that are there ki there is a severe fall that is coming so it's not that at one go one price one strike price you will accumulate all the quantity you first start taking out maybe 40 delta make it to 70 80 delta go to the next 40 delta make it to 70 80 delta and so on so forth if you're making like this over a period of time all you need to concern about ki that's what i'm saying this this 10 lakh becoming once once year let's say 10 times you made the profit now these are fences for you these are like you know that fort ki 10 layer kharab hone ke baad hi aapke capital ke upar encroachment aayega agar agar if every day basis my capital is at risk my operational capability will be completely different i would not be the same person what i am doing let's say yesterday so so these are the muscles that you have to build up on your uh, kind of on your top of your mind to be more uh, competent enough in the market uh i i i i somehow feel ki most of us most of the time we do respect we try to kind of you know either kind of you know um, recover our losses or maybe you know just to break even make some money and things like that but uh, if you if you kind of you know create that you know system where uh, you are having profit for last uh, let's say uh, 10 times profit of a capital or 20 times profit of a capital your dna as a trader will completely change and and that is a confidence i will never uh, you know kind of you no know, trade against anything i i i i can give anything in my life but as a trader i'll never give that confidence in from myself so that confidence is the key for me so so yeah. try to have that confidence and that position sizing will take care of of, it, of itself uh, eventually without much of you know issue right right uh naresh Naresh, you there? Or Santosh, you want to go? Ahead? Yeah. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I've been following Asit for almost like two more than two years, and uh, I see him speaking in various events. And I myself have been trading in options for ten years. So there is no holy grail. Uh, all agreed on that. Uh, but. what do you think about these uh, three questions that i have for you ask me first one is earlier if you see the entire charts for the options or the indexes it used to give a very sharp move just after the breakout now that's very rarely happening and we cannot do anything about it that's another question but that is one thing and how you are managing because the most of the move comes in at a unpredictable time when you cannot honestly would have predicted yes move will come now let us enter so move will come in a time you know when uh, puts used to be in demand but suddenly calls will become uh, demanding ones so sorry, by uh, the time sorry just to interrupt who, who is this naresh or santosh 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 uh, i would request you to just limit yourself to one question there are many people and okay. if you can make it also a little bit to the point yeah thank right. you right so so the thing is like where do you think of entering so you uh, i mean like the moves that we are seeing nowadays like 100 point in just 5 10 minutes okay that comes at a time you know when 
uh, we seeing it charts it, it's too difficult to you know point that out and by the time you enter the premium would have already gone up so w- how are you dealing with this uh, no i think what you're saying we all are facing that it's not that key something that is new but at the same time what i try to do is that you know i do not ever kind of you know put uh, all the money at one bracket so in case even if you know uh, let's say my spreads will be from let's say 40 to 60 70 delta maybe if if at all there is a spike in which would see before the spike that comes or whatever that is happening um, let me tell you ki the spike is fine it's temporary uh, what you seeing is spike in a 1 minute 3 minute chart might not be anything in a 15 minute chart right so if i what if i am uh, trading ban if in a 15 minute time frame or 30 minute time frame and i'm trying to create a view ki okay fine even if let's say hypothetically i'm bearish on bank nifty correct i have bought puts now suddenly there is a spike of 200 points now if if there is no stop loss that is happening in my bank nifty in terms of my view that i have created correct i don't need to be bothered about because for me jo premium pehle 400 rupees mein mil raha tha abhi 300 rupees mein mil raha hai jo pehle 700 rupees mein mil raha tha maybe wo abhi 500 rupees mein mil raha hai so i'll actually go and grab that 500 rupees ka premium so that is a, so 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 the the range that i play something less a 30 to 60 or 30 to 50 maybe or maybe 40 to 50 in that kind of a delta ka range the the before the spike something which was 60 delta 70 delta i'm actually going to grab that because it has become 40 50 delta maybe something like that my trying to what i'm trying to make is point is that ki it is not that imperative ki us spike aa gaya to premium chala gaya to you first have to have a view everything view in the sense ki conviction le lijiye uh, the way you think the market is going to go up or down and as a buyer if i find the market to be in the range of 200 maybe 100 200 point in bank nifty i'm not going to put all my money over there so only when my my position sizing and everything will go up if i have a concrete view ki okay maybe bank nifty is going to go by 400 500 points and that is where i'm going to play my game so the spikes are fine this is going to be there you cannot a predict it b do anything about it but at the same time uh, it should not uh, compromise your view i think that is more important than you know the spikes the spikes will come that's that's fine well, that's part of the business now got it naresh you want to go ahead yeah uh, naresh here can you hear me now yes yes yeah uh, as i uh, in your earlier spaces or interviews i have heard i think uh, for a 10 lakh kind of an account you suggested don't use the full amount but use 2.5 or 3 lakh first so uh-huh. how do you suggest how do you suggest that 3 lakhs to be deployed suppose if you find a trade then deploy that 3 lakh at a shot or you mm-hmm. bifurcate in different stocks and all no so so basically uh, this is what i keep telling everyone ki so if you have 10 lakh capital hypothetically uh, never ever deploy more than say 2.5 lakh at any given point of time so 2.5 lakh 3 lakh ka agar range bhi hum rakhenge all i'm trying to say you try to find out you know let's say index mein kya movement hai one stock must be going up bullish one stock must be going down bearish try to have a call try to have a put try to have something in the index at any point of time and and point uh, what so what you telling is a bit of you know fractional thing what i have cited this example is for let's say hypothetically somebody wants to make 5% in a month and that is exactly what most of the traders would be absolutely fine with uh, 10 lakh ka 5% is 50000 right and we have 22 trading days so technically speaking we just need to earn 3000 rupees all i try to suggest for the option buyers a do not put all your capital put 30% of the capital and this 3 lakh ke jo capital up use kare for premium not necessarily everything at one go not necessarily all of it at one go but at the same time uh, my if my objective is to earn 3 to 4000 a day if you are skilled enough trust me dead do lakh mein aapke 4 5000 aaram se ban jayenge there is no doubt about it it's just that ki our greed is insatiable we think ki we just have to keep going on and on because i'm making profit or maybe there is lot of profit to be made so once the discipline kicks in then yes uh, never ever put all the money at one go try to agar main 3 lakh ka capital mujhe dalna bhi hai i'll start with maybe kind of from 1 lakh try to go to 1.5 then 2 then 3 that kind of thing if my conviction is that high but uh, that is that is exactly what i say so if somebody is you know retail trader trying to kind of earn 4 5% trust me buying me aaram se paisa ban sakta hai you just have a simple system trade momentum ka gauss karna hai and thoda options ke bare mein janna hai ki kis strike price pe mujhe lena hai kahan pe exit karna hai that's that's the simplest way of it uh, not that ki it is very difficult but at the same time needs bit of you know, practice discipline whatever you can say 
so that is what it is yeah 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 uh rajesh Uh, Manish, Manish, you want to go ahead? Uh, yeah, uh, sir, I just want to ask uh, one or two questions. That uh, oh, uh, do you trail your stop losses or do you keep a fixed stop loss? And mm-hmm. second question is, do you make a portfolio of stocks or do you trade uh, stocks one by one uh, in your portfolio? No, I normally don't keep stop losses. Uh, my stop losses are more in mind, uh, more of on the view. If my if my view has gone wrong, it has gone wrong. So it doesn't matter. Oh, premium thirty ka hai ya fifty ka hai, I'll be out. So my stop losses more into what to do with the view. I do not trail my stop loss. I cannot do it with the position sizing that I have. Uh, second, I I trade with thirty forty stocks if at all I have to. but my focus has been uh, nifty bank nifty and few of the top 10 15 uh, stocks ma- maximum who are you know very high beta counters and things like that so that is that is exactly what i kind of not do and uh, yeah i think his next question as it was on uh, whether you trade a single stock or a portfolio of stocks a uh, portfolio of stock you can say not the single stock now now if i'm trading maybe if if something three four stocks are looking good or three four stocks are looking bad i'll take both of them so mm-hmm. that is how i'll be taking it yeah yeah, yeah. okay uh, rajesh are you there ha 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 hello yeah go ahead ah uh, ashish happy uh, birthday <laughs> mm, thank you thank you <laughs> uh, ashish ji yeah, just i just want to ask you ऑप्शन बाइंग में जो भी होता है एक इफ यू वांट टू कैच समथिंग लाइक 500 पॉइंट्स एंड अबाउट बैंक निफ्टी और समथिंग लाइक इट विल नॉट कम एवरी डे करेक्ट नो सो व्हाट इफ देयर एनी पैटर्न्स आर देयर जस्ट टू चेक इट आउट व्हेदर हाउ इट विल कम और नॉट एनी पैटर्न्स आर देयर यू विल इंडिकेटर्स कैन नॉट डू दैट नो नथिंग विल डू मतलब इट्स जस्ट दैट यू जस्ट यू नो कीप ट्रेडिंग एवरी डे एंड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू गेट अ सेंस ऑफ यू नो हाउ द at least once you have the view ki banifty is not going to go up try to play on the downside if if you think in a kafi correction ho chuka hai downside aa chuka hai then you try to play on the upside see more than the this indicators and you know whatever matlab we have in the this thing i think more what it uh, needs to be known is ki how exactly the view is getting formed market gives you money for the view i am not i am not willing to kind of no uh, trade ki every day mujhe 400 500 point ka bank nifty milega but even if i get 300 points it is good but at the same time view is all that matters and uh, once that view is correct matlab most of the time you will be fine yes matlab to be honest i have seen huge amount of drawdowns because my views have gone wrong but at the same time that just part of the business and i know ki you know things will be fine and i can always take care of the drawdown but uh, i'll never com- kind of no compromise with the view if i see the same pattern same this thing and even if there is a drawdown i'll still go that aggressive because i know ki uh, it's just around the corner ki when things are going to be the way it is supposed to be because your analysis is saying so but of course the russia ukraine ke crisis so whatever xyz that has happened in the last two months things have been volatile even if you absolutely show sure ki market is going down there is a spike up if you think market is going up there some news and suddenly it goes down yes i'm not talking about this two months but over a period of time market will always pay you premium for your views so and i don't ever envisage ki mujhe 300 500 point ka move bank nifty mein hamesha milega but who needs it even if i get it for let's say 6 7 times in a month 22 trading sessions i'll be more than happy so yeah yeah got it sachin uh, thank you very much sir uh, asi sir wish you very happy birthday sir god bless you सर बींग एक्चुअली ऑप्शन बायर एक्चुअली सर मैं पिछले एक साल से सर केवल एक ही स्टॉक के ऊपर फोकस करके ऑप्शन बाइंग के ऊपर मैं ट्रेडिंग कर रहा हूँ डैडी से बजाज फाइनेंस क्योंकि मेरे को उसी में थोड़ा बहुत कंफर्टेबल लगता है तो सर मैं जस्ट आपसे एक सिंपल पॉइंट पूछना चाहता हूँ कि लाइक जब हम ऐसे बजाज फाइनेंस ऐसे फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर के किसी स्टॉक को फोकस करते हैं स्पेशली बजाज फाइनेंस तो क्या क्या पॉइंट्स बेसिकली हमें डे ट्रेडिंग में ध्यान में रखने चाहिए सर उसके ऊपर थोड़ा गाइड कर दीजिए थैंक यू वेरी मच सर सी डे ट्रेडिंग में फ्यू ऑफ द पॉइंट्स दैट इवन लुक एट की पहले आप देख लीजिए कि कॉल राइटिंग पुट राइटिंग कहां पे पोजीशन है नंबर 1 नंबर 
डे हाई लेट्स से मतलब प्रीवियस डे हाई को ब्रेक करे तो ऑब्वियसली आई विल बी बुलिश प्रीवियस डे लो को ब्रेक करे तो आई विल बी बियरिश सो डोंट हैव लॉन्ग इफ द प्रीवियस डे लो इज टेकन आउट सेम कैन बी अप्लाइड कि अगर मुझे 60 मिनट हाई को ब्रेक करे या लेट्स से 50 मिनट हाई को ब्रेक करे मतलब हैव सम रेफरेंस पॉइंट मतलब आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग फ्रॉम द बेसिक प्लेन सिंपल नथिंग टू डू विद बजर्स मिनट्स बट दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट कैन बी लुक्ड एट इफ यू आर डूइंग इंटरडे ट्रेडिंग Uh, try to see call writing, put writing. Ka, I mean, how exactly you know they are kind of comfortable. Um, I think I think internet trading. Me most of the time, the first fifteen minute, five minute, me the juice is gone uh, until less two o'clock uh, starts happening. Ki jahan pe second move ek aata hai. Uh, if if the market is not having any other news or something like that, so I would uh, say ki if you see too much of gap up, I mean just because there is a looking very good and everything, do not go aggressive. try to kind of know uh, use fibonacci try to find out ki kahan pe retracement aayega then i can always enter in the pullback do not go just because something is up by 4% see the open interest uh, price is up but open interest is not up don't in, kind of enter into those kind of no stocks so these are the few rules that you can kind of implement yes yeah yeah uh asit uh, just one quick uh, small uh, request uh, i know we are almost 1 hour 10 minutes into our uh, space but maybe I, if you if you are okay we'll just continue for another 5 to 10 minutes maximum yes 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 that, yes, yes. Yeah. okay uh, we'll we'll try to end this at uh, 10 15 pm huh? i uh, if i may take uh, one minute uh, so i i i see my best friend mother being there in the this thing uh, okay, so mother sure. is the so mother is the guy who kind of you know uh, let me stay his play, at his place when you know i was absolutely broke and oh. he has been a pillar of strength since last 20 years i, so, I don't see him but in the you are saying he is one of the questions yeah, he is one no no not questions i just hmm. see him in the this thing so oh. yeah oh <laughs> okay okay I, so okay, nice to see so I, even if he even if he doesn't do any trading or doesn't understand anything but at the same time fact of the matter ki maybe i'm speaking he's just listening but yeah thanks thanks buddy for everything <laughs> yeah thank you thank you okay uh, so yeah as i said i will just continue for another 5 10 minutes maximum uh, with that i'll ask uh, hasnain to ask the question hello yeah yep okay sir uh ji bole sawal puchho sir without wasting time my question is uh, i do trade in uh, index option so majorly i trade in uh, option selling so can you put uh, Uh, some light on option selling at what strike otm strike price we should select and at what day out of five working days of uh, in a week at what day we should enter in our trade thank you sir i am really sorry to disappoint you it's a wrong question to a wrong person i have absolutely no knowledge ki kahan pe kya selling karna hota hai i am pretty sure ki you have so many people out there who can guide you on that but i i, I don't think i'm qualified enough to guide on that so yeah no worries no worries uh jagdish yeah godan uh, thank you godan thank you also for this opportunity my question is simple can you brief on the delta drifting and the uh, you know presuming that you move from one delta to another delta uh, whatever it is uh, brief on the delta drifting and at what stages do you move the uh, you know uh, pieces to the next delta i think it is delta drifting is becoming little more this thing see basically what you trying to do if the market is trending you cannot do delta drifting if if uh, market is not trending but if the market is trending uh, never ever get into too much in the money itm deep itm kind of you know strike prices try to keep your uh, you know strike prices atm so let's say hypothetically um uh, 17000 uh, sorry 16000 ke let's say you're taking nifty then listen nifty goes up you go and buy 16100 it goes up further matlab you see a scalability uh, kind of you know in terms of you know uh, another strike price can be getting into atm so try to get into that atm so point is ki if you if you already hypothetically nifty has more 500 points in the entire day right do not buy and uh, keep accumulating in the same strike price so you start with 16000 Uh, make money. The moment sixteen thousand cut delta is becoming maybe seventy or you know sixty seventy kind of range. Go to the next one which is around forty delta. Try to make it to seventy delta and try to add quantity as and whatever comfortable that you have. So my point is that always try to stick to ATMs. 
maybe 40 50 delta do not this is my this thing until unless i'm very very convinced i'll not go for in the money or deep in the money ka strike price and try to keep it atm and try to rotate all the strike prices whichever is at atm i would not like to keep anything in my trading bet which is which has turned into a deep item because of the fact let's say what happens in a deep item deep item 80 delta may if if suddenly let's say nifty falls down by 80 100 points this this particular strike price will lose 80 points uh, the premium hypothetically right i, I in, in this things go wrong i want i'm okay to make 50 points ka premium and uh, also i'm wanting to lose 50 points ka premium i do not want uh, 80 points ka premium to be eroded in minutes in case something goes wrong so basically it's more of a risk management where you're exposing yourself to 50 delta not more than that or maybe 40 delta not more than that but at the same time uh, the key thing in delta drifting is that key what a money that you're making in one strike price you're deploying that profit money or maybe little more than the profit in the second strike price so by the time you go to the third strike price you actually um, not having any capital of it so the whole uh, game changes when there is no risk the maximum risk is your profit right the maximum risk would be the previous strike price the delta money that you would have, you would have made so the the whole uh, objective of you know, delta drift is to have free money for trading your capital is not involved your profit is not involved but your profit from the profit that has been generated that is at stake so you have made two layers of profit so keep one layer of the profit at risk and just uh, kind of you know, play the game rather than involving your capital jab 16000 mein hum pehle baar nifty ka call buy kiye that is your capital involved right let's say you bought 1000 quantity let's say uh, um, 200 ka premium hai to aap 2 lakh ka premium buy kiye 2 lakhs mein se let's say you made around 60 70000 hypothetically now put the 60 70000 and another 30000 from the capital 1 lakh and try to invest in that so now you know ki at max my 30000 ka capital is at risk baki 70000 to maine paisa kamaya right you have two choices either to stop completely at 60 70000 but at the same time if you're sensing blood go after it and try to make your 60 70 000 as a stake i will try to see if it is going beyond that now the 30 40 000 profit so the capital that you have invested with the 60 000 you're making another profit of 60 70 000 now your capital is completely free your profit is also kind of you know, partly free so then the game changes completely i can carry forward most of the times 80 to 90 percent of the time i carry positions to the next day whenever i'm in profit uh, if the profitability goes up, I carry a lot of positions. If the profitability goes down, then I do not carry that much of positions. So that is exactly how this delta drifting will help. If you rotate the strike and reduce your uh, risk parameter, you can say. Yep. Hello. Sorry, sorry, I was on mute. Uh, I'm sorry, Asit. Uh, Saurabh, yeah. you want to go ahead? Saurabh? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Ask your question. Yeah. Hi, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir, uh, I want to... Hello? Am I audible? Yeah. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, uh, sir, I want to know uh, what strategy you use. Basically, you use price action or Fibonacci or candlestick or what strategy you use for... Selecting the stock and from trading. And sir, my second question is, sir, as I'm a new trader, sir, so sir, I have been just uh, six months ago, sir, price action, sir. So, sir, price action is uh, enough to, sir, for earning uh, money in option mine? Or do I also need to uh, learn some other strategies also? And see, if you're learning price action, that is great. I think, you know, if you can just add a little bit of you know, data reading, options data reading, I think that will be good if you're getting to option side of it. Even if you're not getting a option side of it, still, option reading will definitely give you a much better uh, comprehensive approach to, you know, stock selection or whatever views that you're going to form. Uh, but try to see options data and a uh, bit of indicators, and that's what I do. Got it. We'll take the last two questions, uh, Asit, from uh, Sumit. Sumit, you want to go ahead? Yeah, sir, please, sir. Yeah. yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Good evening, uh, Asit, sir. So, big fan of yours. So, while hearing your story, the same stories uh, like I'm having it, and I'm also planning to 
like leave the job but after hearing you yeah it's been like i'll take sabbatical first and uh, we'll put try things and but if uh, if i'll ask like if i want to become like asit baran so what i need to do like hi how i can uh, learn uh, like asit baran like uh, <laughs> <laughs> so because you you don't uh, have this no webinars or you don't do it but if if i want to replicate and things like you so something like we want asit baran academy kind of a stuff so people like us can learn so we do not have a financial background yeah but we do have mbas and uh, good companies working with good fmcg mnc companies the way you have worked in good uh, mnc in finance so how we can learn like it is a patient for us also in the market but yeah learning system is a very very difficult for us to so how you suggest sir see first thing first don't replicate anyone uh, i'm not trying to be modest or uh, humility and everything all those things no nothing like that uh, don't try to replicate anyone just get things ki aap kis type of trading karna chahte what kind of you no know, trading investment that you want to do if 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 i were to kind of you no know, just type i was looking for answers from everyone around nobody ever had told me to do option buying to be very honest एंड एंड जस्ट टू लेट यू नो कि मैं ऑप्शन बाइंग इसलिए आया था कि मेरे पास पैसा नहीं था अगर इफ आई आई एंड आई थैंक गॉड इन अ वे कि आई वॉज ब्रोक आई डिट हैव कैपिटल आई डिट हैव मनी एंड दैट इज वाई ऑप्शन बाइंग हैपन टू मी बिकॉज अगर मेरे पास पैसा होता देन आई वुड हैव द सेम हर्ट मेंटेलिटी कि पैसा तो सिर्फ सेलिंग से बनता है विच इज नॉट द ट्रूथ इट्स आर इंटरली बोगस मतलब दर इज नो डाउट ऑन दैट फैक्ट दी मैटर डोंट कैन ऑफ नो ए रिप्लीकेट एनी वन टू बी ऑनेस्ट यू फाइंड यूर ओन टेरिटोरी इन विच यूल बी कम्फर्टेबल ट्राई टू डिस्कवर यूर ओन ट्रेडिंग डी एन ए विच यू आर मेड ऑफ डोंट दैट इज द ऑनेस्ट थिंग है मतलब नो डोंट एवर थिंक कि इस बंदे ने कुछ कर लिया तो मैं उसको देख के कर लूंगा तो आई बी फाइन नो आई डोंट थिंक दैट इज बेसिकली इफ आई मे टेल यू मन ईच वन ऑफ अस there is no shortcut to success you have to bend your back you have to study whatever that you comfortable with and try to make uh, some rules of the game if you do not have the rules of the game i am i am damn sure ki it's just matter of time we will fizzle out uh, matlab see there are two ways you make money for 2 3 months and then you lost forever or you don't make money for next one year but you're there for till the time you know you're there in the market that kind of thing Uh, if you if you do not put effort, uh, if you do not understand things, do not uh, understand what kind of trading you want to do, do not know the rules of the game. Um, trust me, you want to replicate anyone, even if you know the best of the best traders in the world will fail out. So, मेरे हिसाब से किसी को कोई replicate करने की जरूरत नहीं है. You just find your own route, मतलब ना comfort zone, जहाँ पे आपको अच्छा लग रहा है. and try to kind of you no know, do trading uh, accordingly uh, I, to be to be very honest like you no know, i i i'll well, again i'm not digging at anyone so sometime back i had gone to sometime back matlab maybe 3 years back i had gone to somebody's workshop and the person said ki only if you do selling then you are, there is a hedge and you cannot do uh, hedging if I, i just asked him ki if if i buy a call and if things not working out and if i'm buying a put uh, then also it is a hedging uh um, the person didn't uh, have the right answers and rather was very arrogant to even have that kind of a no question you know if i may say like that point is ki we are only limited by our own uh, understanding i am pretty sure ki i am limited by my own little understanding uh, do, let's not have that barrier ki acha isne ye bola to itna hi hoga no that's not that's rubbish there's so much of ways to make money and whatever that is comfortable to you you go out to that and and but at the same time um, you have to kind of you know, give your best study read make notes uh, understand charts options data pnf renko there are so many different school well, science right so you have to decide for yourself which science uh, school of science you are most uh, suitable for and then you make that as a you know core thing and you know develop upon that so that right. is that is exactly what i can say yeah right right asit sir asit sir my name is vimal thank you sir for giving this opportunity sir can you share a couple of uh, ideas to form uh, based on data analysis and technical analysis i mean short term view and medium term view of the market if you can share a couple of ideas ideas in the sense in the sense like uh, like if, if i mean like what happens to data which can lead you to a decision that short term market can panic 
or can shoot up that kind of things idea means maybe your whatever some uh, knowledge other how to take view based basically how to take view based on uh, how to take view based on data analysis as well as technical analysis for short term and medium term thank you sir see medium term i don't trade anything i trade for a day or two matlab my whole view keeps changing every with a new set of data uh, new set of information that is flowing in if i'm bull i was bullish on one day the next day i can be equally bearish and so and so forth so i don't do anything mid term i don't have the expertise to be honest and uh, do not really know the game in that manner um the short term me if i may talk about uh, i would say ki um, try to read wall skew try to read uh, options data try to understand let's say if you're trading in the index uh, the top five companies how exactly they are placed uh, unka options data dekhiye but do not only see weekly data do see monthly data as well and try to see the next week data those are the things that you can look at try to understand if the market is correcting uh, iv is not going up maybe it's not the kind of a selling that is uh, going to have that impact full kind of a further follow through and things like that these are the few things that you can always uh, kind of you no know, take influence from um, um beat stock beat index uh, couple of indicators couple of data reading would not do justice to the probable move but at the same time uh, you can always find reference from pivot let's say uh, daily pivot has gone above weekly pivot that's a bullish kind of you no know, formation in terms of data uh, weekly pivot has gone above monthly pivot so try to compare different time frames uh, my 60 minute rsi is more than my daily rsi that is positive so i would like to have a bullish view my 60 minute rsi is less than let's say um, daily rsi that's that's a bearish view i would not like to take a bullish one so try to compare a have two three different time frames at least try to build one anchor time frame um, based upon which you will be taking your decisions and uh, another time frame for taking your risk uh, kind of you no know, uh, stop loss or risk management whatever you can talk about but try to correlate so have two three data points uh, have two three indicators have a couple of charts maybe you'll just see um, a, a normal candle um, uh, maybe hekinashi the other candle could be kind of you no know, other time frame may, maybe elder impulse system eis and try to compare ki how exactly they are currently giving the same noise uh, if 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 i get the same noise from different quarters and uh, they they will make the rhythm so that is what i'm more interested in i'm i'm not interested in just to find out in one time frame something is looking good if i if i can have the same kind of you no know, data population to another time frame and see things ki okay fine this is also about to make the same noise on a high time frame maybe yes then i'll take the view so my point is ki it is it is not that ki few data points few chart and whatever try to correlate different things and also analyze the same thing different time frames but the time frames is something that is another science altogether but at the same time you have to understand the time frame yeah great i think uh, asit uh, i think we can continue for the whole night if you want to there are so many questions <laughs> that people want to ask but unfortunately we have a time constraint so uh, i i just again want to thank you asit uh, thank you a lot for uh, coming and sharing whole heartedly your uh, experiences your advice and uh, answering all the questions so enthusiastically so thank you a lot and uh, uh, keep keep uh, you know uh, keep progressing in life and wish you all the very best in the future <laughs> yeah thank you and thank you everyone for listening to me um, i hope it was some help or something some to something to you know carry home in terms of some pointer yeah. or whatever so pleasure is all mine modern thank you thank you for the thank opportunity thank yeah. you thank you everyone have a good night and have a great trading week ahead bye bye